Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are going to discuss together one of the types of essay, which is cause effect essay. We will try to identify the types of cause effect essay. How many types of cause effect essay? The organization of cause effect essay. The C statement, how we can write strong C statement. All these points, we will try to see it together in our session today. So be ready for our session. Cause, effect, essay. First of all, what's a cause? effect essay. This is an important question. A cause effect essay tells you how one event, which is the cause, leads to another event, which is the effect. In other words, your essay may focus more on the effects of a cause or more on the causes of one effect. And that is why we say this essay can be called just a cause essay or an effect essay. Actually, a cause effect essay can do one of two things. It can analyze the ways in which one or more effects result from a particular cause. And in this case, the method used focuses on effects or it can analyze the ways in which one or more causes lead to a particular effect. So in this case, this method is called focus on causes. We are going to try to answer together an important question related to cause effect essay, which is organization. But before we go to the organization, we need to know the types of cause effect essays. We know that there are two basic ways to organize a cause effect essay, either to focus on effects or to focus on causes. So the first type, if your essay is focusing on the effect, we call it essay focused on the effect. If your essay is focusing on the cause, so it's called essay focused on the cause. Sometimes the essay could focus on both, the reason why something happens and the effect it had. So we have three types of cause effect essay. If you are focusing in your essay on the causes, this is cause essay. If you are focusing on effects, this is an effect essay. If you are trying to make a kind of mix between causes and effects, so this is cause effect essay. The first type, which is the focus on effects essay. In a focus on effects essay, usually you try to focus on the effects. For example, if you are writing about the threatened habitat of polar bears as a result of global warming and the melting of large parts of the Arctic Circle. So here, don't forget your main focus when writing this essay is on the effects, not on the causes. What is the title of your essay here? The Threatened Habitat of Polar Bears. Okay, the threatened, the threatened habitat of polar bears. Due to what? Global warming and the melting of large bodies of the Arctic Circle. So here, we are not going to refer to the causes. No, we are going to write about the effects. Usually for a focus or cause effect say we have the general outline which we usually use in any essay. We start with the introduction, 
followed by the body, and we finish with the conclusion. In the introductory paragraph, as usual, we start with the hook, followed by connecting information, and we finish with the thesis statement. When I read your thesis, me as a reader will be able to understand and to put also my hand on the method you are going to use in your essay. Is it focus on effects or focus on causes? It's, it will be very, very clear in your thesis. Here, because the focus is on effects, so the body paragraphs, the three body paragraphs will tackle the effects. Body paragraph number one, you will try to write about the first effect. Body paragraph number two, you are going to write about the second effect. Uh, body paragraph number three, you are going to write about the third effect. For example, for our essay here, which is about threatened habitat of polar bears due to result of global warming and melting of larger parts of the Arctic Circle. Just a suggestion, of course, you could have different suggestions. But here, this is my suggestion, or this is actually the suggestion which is available in your text book. The first effect, dangerous swimming conditions. Sea ice platform is farther apart. In body paragraph number two, the second effect will be scarcity of food. Fewer hunting opportunities. Scarcity of food, of course, due to fewer hunting opportunities. The same for the first effect, dangerous swimming conditions. Because of what? Sea ice platforms farther apart. In body paragraph number three, you write about the third effect, reduced population. As females with less body weight, their body weight will be less because of the scarcity of food, because of the fewer hunting opportunities, they will have lower reproduction rates. In the concluding paragraph, you will try to restate the thesis. You will try to give suggestion, to give an opinion, or to make prediction. So here, the main difference between cause essay and effect essay will be in the body paragraph as well as in the thesis, because in the thesis you will refer to the effects. In the body also you will refer to the different effects which you are going to talk about or write about in your essay. And in the concluding, you are going to restate the thesis. But if your essay is focusing on causes, generally, we will have the same introduction, hook connected information thesis, but your thesis this time will focus on the causes, not on the effects. You are going to write about the causes. The causes, for example, of global warming, global warming such as excessive carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So in this case, your organization for the essay, especially in the body, will be different. Because here, in body paragraph one, you are not going to refer or write or discuss effects. No, you are going to write about causes. In body paragraph one, cause number one. In body paragraph two, cause number two. In body paragraph three, cause number three. So cause number one here, just a, a suggestion, it could be human activities. Human activities could be one of the main causes of global warming. Because human activities reduce carbon dioxide in a large amount from vehicles, for example. Not recycling. Not recycling, this is another cause. Because not recycling means 
creating more products from scratch. In body paragraph two, you can refer to the second cause, which could be increased industrial activity. Oh, industrial activity. Usually produces greater carbon dioxide from burning fuel to run factories. In body paragraph three, you will discuss right about cause number three, which could be deforestation. Due to the increased human population, more space will be required. So trees will be cut down. And the fewer trees mean, mean less oxygen. And less oxygen causes higher percentage of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So here in the body paragraph, you refer only to the causes, not to the effects. In the concluding, you try to restate the thesis, which don't forget is focusing on the causes. You try to give suggestions, opinions, or make prediction. These are some topics which you focus on causes, and we will have also other examples for uh, topics which you cause on uh, effects. The first example, the causes of the high divorce rate in some countries. So when you are asked to write about such a topic in your thesis, you have to refer to the causes or you have to refer to the number of causes. And in the body paragraphs, you will actually discuss these causes. The causes of World War I. Your thesis should be clear, should be direct in regard to talking, discussing causes, talking about or discussing causes of world war. The causes of low voter participation in elections. The reasons new teachers quit. Why only a small percentage of people read? When we look at these examples, we will find that the word causes is repeated, or reasons, or the question word why. So when we find why, reasons, causes, we should know that such uh, topic is very suitable, very convenient to be focused on causes essay. For uh, topics, focused on uh, effects, the effects of pollution in my country, how pollution affects life in my country, the effects of high salaries for athletes, how high salaries that are given for athletes have uh, important effects, significant impacts. The effects of the internet, on how business are run, how internet is associated with development of business, the impact of technology on education, especially nowadays after COVID-19 and the transfer for online learning, we have actually seen the impact of technology on education. What happens when a large percentage of adults cannot read well? So here, we will find that words like effects, impact, uh, what will happen. Such words are key words for topics focus on effects. There are some skills that you as students will be able to develop while writing course essays or effect essays. The first skill, which is uh, always developed, not only for cause and effect essay, but for any type of essay, is writing skill. The second skill is objective thinking. This is one, this one in particular. You will find that it's very clear, it's a very touch it in regard to cause and effect essay, because when you are asked about 
what are the causes of a certain issue or what are the effects of a certain issue, you need to think about it. And you need to be objective, not only subjective. Not subjective, you need to be objective in your thinking. So here, when you are writing cause and effect essay, I, either you are writing about the causes or you are writing about the effects, you are developing your thinking in an objective, not subjective way. The third skill is the organizational skills, how you can write in an organization way. So you develop your skill of organizing, of organization, body, uh, introduction, body, concluding, and also body, cause one, cause two, cause three, or effect one, effect two, effect three. In the introduction thesis, in the conclusion, you restate the thesis. So you develop your organizational skills. Also, you develop your skill in regard to the attention to details. Because when you refer to the causes or you refer to the effects, you are actually paying attention to all details. And also one of the skills that you as a student can develop while writing cause and effect to say is new areas of interest. The topic could be an area of interest for you. These are some examples for interesting cause and effect essays. What are the causes of a significant fall in the number of students in college libraries? How can institutes produce better A-level students? What is the effect of a physical education program on college students? How can a civil war occur in modern society? What's causing college students to feel anxiety? Discuss the causes and effects of daily lies. What are the causes of divorce? What's the impact of genetically engineered food? What causes racism? What causes a person to act politely with others? All these topics, when you are asked to write about, you will find that they represent new areas of interest for you. They develop your uh, objective thinking. The, uh, here, we will try to learn together how we can write theses for cause and effect essay. We said that your essay could be focused on causes. So in your thesis, you have two options, either to refer to the number of causes or the number of reasons, or to refer to the reasons directly. Look at this example here about online shopping. Many customers prefer to shop online for three important reasons. Here you haven't uh, referred, you haven't stated, you haven't mentioned the reasons for uh, preferring uh, shopping online. But you have referred to the number of reasons. So when I read the thesis, I will understand that you will have three body paragraphs. In each body paragraph, you will discuss one of these three important reasons. So this is really a strong thesis statement for a cause C. The second option, instead of uh, using the number of the reason without referring or mentioning or stating them, you can use, you can actually uh, mention the reasons. Like here, here uh, uh, this topic about obesity, the increase in obesity in our country is due to food commercials, cheap fast food, and video games. So instead of saying the increase in obesity in our country is due to three reasons, no, I actually mentioned the three reasons. The first one, food commercials, which will be discussed in body paragraph one, a cheap fast food, which will be discussed in body paragraph two, video games, which will be discussed in body paragraph three. If you were to say is focusing on effects, also you have two options. Look at the example here, the first example. This essay will discuss the effects of watching too much TV on the children's family life, interpersonal skills, and the school life. So here, I refer to the field of the effects 
of watching too much TV. The first field is a children's family life, which will be discussed in detail in body paragraph one. The second field is the interpersonal skills, which will be discussed in detail in body paragraph two. A school life, which will be discussed in detail in body paragraph three. The second example, most people are not aware of the positive effects of simply walking for 20 to 30 minutes per day. Here, I haven't referred to the positive effects, but when the reader reads my thesis statement, he will understand that my essay will focus on effects. Why? Because it's stated in my thesis when I said the positive effects. So you have two options when you are writing cause or effect uh, thesis, either to refer to the number or to state the number or to mention the reasons or the effects in your thesis statement. Thank you very much for uh, listening. Hope you have enjoyed our session and see you next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.